Hello guys, Ascended Zombie here. Welcome back for another episode of Borderlands. And this time, uh, we're going to face the Circle of Slaughter. And on episode last episode uh, 15 last time, we did some missions for the Trash Coast. Uh, some of which you guys actually missed because the software lagged once again. And because of that, uh, this time we are no longer doing face cam. Alright, so there will be no face cam from here on out because obviously my computer cannot handle face cam because the software is lagging. So, because of that, there's no more face cam. And uh, let's uh, start off on our episode 16 here with a circle of slaughter. I got the ride. And uh, there's one thing you guys did miss last time that I still want to show in this episode, and I will show. So, uh, don't worry about that. Strip the bastard! I'll you! Critical hit! So hopefully we should have some perfect gameplay this time uh, without any software lag. Uh, besides the face cam last time, uh, my lips didn't match up the movement of when I was talking. So that's alright. Okay, let's do uh, round one of the Circle of Slaughter. Here we go. A part of me uh, is glad, though, that I'm figuring out this recording stuff now. Uh, so uh, in later in later episodes of gameplays, I won't have to figure it out. I can just record without any issues, and I'll have some perfect gameplay for you guys. Okay, that was round one, incredibly easy, but uh, it does get a lot harder, which is why we leveled up first. It's kill or be killed. Level 2, Circle of Slaughter. Oh man, we're about to level up to, to level 32. finish the round. And we got a new skill point here too that we can put on for bullet damage. Resistance. 
not bullet damage ourselves but resistance to bullet damage which is extremely nice because uh, a lot of enemies use weapons in this in this game okay I think we picked up everything here maybe this green weapon I have gotten good weapons in here before so I'm gonna make sure to check everything make sure my microphone's in the right spot here okay the final round the circle of slaughter how many backpack slots do we have okay we got plenty of backpack space to pick up stuff Alright, this round is uh, pretty tough, but we did level up quite a bit, so we should be fine. And we're going to get our turret back here any second. Get our shield regenerated. Okay. Alright, I need to stop looking at stuff on the ground and concentrate. <laughs> yeah, we beat it. Not too hard, especially given the level that we were at. Alright, let's walk around and see what we got for items. Just a bunch of ammo that I don't need usually, looks like. Actually, you know what, let's um, let's swap out this anarchy for like a machine gun, or not a machine gun, a, uh, a shotgun. So we can use some different weapons here besides machine guns. If you guys are bored of watching me using machine guns all the time. Boy, that's a slow reload on that shotgun. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to keep the rest of this stuff. Uh, whoops. Now uh, let's uh, sell this. Okay, we'll keep the rest of it now. Okay. So we only have one mission left. go back to New Haven because I want to show something that I showed in the last episode but I had to cut it out due to the Elgato messing up again so I'll show you guys here in New Haven if you have this mission active this mission I have active right now on the screen uh, picking up the vault key piece for the trash coast challenge overcome vault key piece it says on the screen if you have that active there's actually a secret room here in New Haven you can go in, which is really cool. And go downstairs. Okay, I'm not liking this shotgun. <laughs> See, let's use this one. A good old machine gun. Some shotguns are really good, but that one is just too slow. All right, we can check out this secret room. Oh, nothing in there. We got a table with a, a leg as a base, or a lamp rather. We got a makeshift Christmas tree with some grenades on it. And one thing you will always uh, get down here as a special weapon is the rider. It's like a sniper rifle without the scope on it not uh, very good but that's one of the special weapons you can pick up in the game okay now well, we've thoroughly explored the secret room below New Haven let's go back up Okay, so that's kind of a cool little thing in New Haven. If you have this mission active, you can go down there. Good. There we go. Okay, let's go to the trash coast and finally do this uh, story mission here. No, I don't want to reload. I want to select. Okay, trash coast. It's a pretty good class mod actually, but I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, and one of the missions we did last episode was uh, 
Actually, we did a couple last episode. We did the bleeder over there, and we did uh, the queen abdomen replacement, and also we got crazy earls. Um, crazy earls little buddy back, which you guys, we might have, I think we actually did see that in the last episode, but um, we did miss the secret room in New Haven, so here we go. And uh, we will be fighting a boss here soon, which is my favorite boss in Borderlands, by the way. There are a couple other cool bosses, though, in the game. I should say it's one of my favorite. I don't know if it's the favorite, but... Critical, Biatch! Hurt. Okay, we're gonna actually go over here because there's a chest over here. Damn it. Yeah, we're not gonna find a shield better than ours for quite a while still. We just have a really nice shield that we came across. What is the level of our shield anyway? 25? Okay. Yeah, the only problem with this microphone, guys, is you're going to hear, like, every button click I do with the controller, so that's the only issue. I can't really fix that, so. But here we go, boss fight time. This thing is so cool. <laughs> the rack guy, look how huge he is. He's so big. And that's what like first That's what first caught me off guard how big he was. And you got to shoot him in the eyes for the critical. He's dead. Let's see if we got any good loot here. It's a pretty good shotgun, actually. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's no chests in this area, just a bunch of ammo crates. Look at all of his guts. It looks like he's still breathing too, but he's a gunner. Yeah, 
there's a little Easter egg with him too. If you shoot him in the butt, he actually sprays out uh, like a diarrhea. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a child. Yeah, we got the next piece. It's pretty far down there. All right, let's make our way back. should upgrade our grenades, huh? Go ahead and do that. We got a bunch of vitriolic stuff. Okay. Well, let's go turn this in. I think actually we need to turn this into Tannis. So that's going to be the underpass. I'm gonna check these vending machines first. You never know. You should always check them. That's where we found our awesome shield. Actually gonna bypass the spider ants here and just grenade up here. Always nice to get resupply.
Okay, we gotta go rescue Claptrap in Old Haven. Let's travel to Old Haven. This place is always sketchy and dangerous. We do have bullet damage though, resistance on our side this time. Actually, you know what, we should use some of these, uh, these vitriolic guns because um, these guys are actually weak to, these guys are weak to acid, so I think that'll work out. And also our turret should be corrosive. That's weird. Usually there's a claptrap in here, but maybe not. That's right. Maybe not yet. Clap trap freed. Yep, Patricia's audio got cut out. And we're gonna have to cut out the video because we're at the 30 minute mark. Thanks for watching everybody. That's been the Senate Zombie in episode 16. The next time on Borderlands episode 17, we'll enter the Salt Flats and maybe take on Baron Flint, the Senate Zombie out.